it guys today is uh, Saturday and uh, I am on the brushy draw and uh, I know I said I was gonna redo this set uh, here by the draw because it was getting some refusals and stuff like that but uh, not according to this guy yep so I think what's happening is I'm catching a lot of transit fox I know some of you might think that uh, I live next to a fox farm, but, uh, you know, I make all my sets on what I call highways to get from one place to another. And because they stay there so long, I'm actually able to pick off whatever comes down the road looking for a new place to live. You know, all the male fox, they get all kicked out of the, herd, out of the litter every fall. I think I talked about that before in one of my videos way back when, the fall shuffle that it is called. Same thing happens for deer. All the bucks that are born that year will get kicked out the following year before that rut. So it prevents interbreeding nature's way. So that's what's happening here. I got all the major travel wavels covered and uh, I pick them off. You know, I've caught, I don't know how many fox now, maybe 25, 26 fox. And 90% of them have been males. I've only caught four or five females at best. So uh, I'm starting out this morning at the bottom of the mountain on the brushy draw right there. And now I'm really going to have to redo this set because uh, he made quite the mess. And that's going to be it. We'll head up the mountain. Maybe we got lucky today. I don't know. It's supposed to snow. We got a big storm coming in and uh, we'll see what happens. Nothing happened yesterday. It's been pretty warm. So I think them animals don't move with their fur coats on when it gets up in the 60s. But uh, all right, I'll see you on the next one. Look at that. A beautiful gray fox. I hardly ever get them. I think uh, all these years, this is only the second one that I've ever caught. Oh man, and he is nice too. Look at that. What's up there, buddy? We are at the uh, knot set. Right here's the knot set. This is the rock. The post set that I made across from the knot set. And he is beautiful. Nothing all good, nothing going on over here at the at the hole that I made as a change up, nothing going on there, but uh I got him at the post set. That was the trip upset and it worked. That's great. I can't believe it. I'm happy. He's a beauty too. I'm gonna have to get that uh, high tanned out. Nice. Alrighty guys, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, we're at the uh, coming up on the bay pile sets. And it looks like uh, we've got ourselves a red fox. Yep. Nothing going on here at the rock. But there's certainly something going on here. Yes, sir. This is the dirt hole I made. Another nice red. Ah, it's a good night. They ran hard last night because that storm we got moving in. That's awesome. That's three so far today up on the mountain. Well, one at the bottom of the mountain and two at the top. Alrighty, I'm going to get him uh, taken care of and then I'm going to head over to the uh, stump set. going to be it for the mountain three fox off the mountain today is a good day that just goes to show you them cold misty rainy nights uh these
sure to really run hard because uh, they're trying to keep warm. It's like 33 degrees, so it makes it makes it tough on them. All right. Today is Sunday, and it is beautiful out here. Nothing in the traps yet, though. All right, we'll keep going. Looks 
like we might have had something pull out. Shit. There's an awful big catch circle right there with nothing in it. Son of a bitch. Wow. There's the trap. Shoot. No hair or nothing, but. Something was here. Hopefully, that camera did his job out there and, uh, damn it. We'll have to see. Oh, shit. Maybe the secret's on this card. We'll find out when I get home. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Okay, let's keep going. I love it when it does that. Great box we bought yesterday. Set number two, which refuses to get any action at all this year. that's it for the mountain um, I'm gonna check that card and see what we lost and uh, I'm gonna head over to the farm it's freaking cold out here today all right I'll see you when I get there all right guys uh, I thought it'd be fun that uh, just you know just to be as transparent as I could be about trapping I'm going to uh, fire up this card right here And uh, we'll see what's on there together. So we're going to go devices right there. Looks like only five, five, huh? All right, so we're going to upload those. And uh, 
We'll see what's happening on that freaking trap. Almost done. One more. Okay, we're going to keep them. We'll go down to here. My camera roll. And we'll start with this one right here. See a fox over there. That was at 12.18, so that was yesterday. That's it, doesn't look like it comes back. Okay, so the next one. A fox right there, sniffing around. Scooching along a little bit. He don't come back. Next one. Nope. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that right there. Is that a fisher or a fox? Nope. That's a fox. We had a fox right there and he's all tangled up in a tree. Okay, lesson number one. Don't put your traps near an entanglement. Because you can see that the because you can see that the leverage that he's getting. And darn, it is a fox, right? Let's see the next one. It almost looks like a fisher, but I'm pretty sure that's a fox. Yeah, that's a fox. Let's see if when he gets out. Look at all the leverage he's got. No wonder he pulled out. That was a stupid mistake on my part. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there you have it, guys. Don't put your traps near anything they can get a hold of or leverage because they're going to wrench your way out. Even though those traps are powerful, it's just uh, not enough when they get that kind of leverage. Because you saw, for there was nothing in that trap. No hair, no nothing. So he didn't break his leg off or anything like that. He just simply pulled out. But, all right, I thought you enjoyed seeing that as I see it. Looks like he got out at 7 a.m. this morning. Guess I would have got up earlier. I probably would have got him. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, wait, there was one more that I didn't see. Looks like we've got some turkey action going on there. It's good to see them back. I haven't seen that many turkeys in a year. Probably because I got all the fox cleaned up. Huh. Well, no gobblers, though. Well. Still a good sign. All right. All right, guys. I'm out here at the farm. And uh, I'm looking at two set off traps. There's no tracks in the snow whatsoever. Uh, I'm thinking the deer set the. Uh, I'm thinking the deer set the traps off, but there is one hole that's dug out a little bit. But uh, I don't know. Things are pretty slow here at the farm. Nothing up top there where the coyote sets are. Nothing nowhere. She sure slowed down. That one fox I got at the chafe set, and uh, that was it. So. That's what it's going to be for today. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Today is Sunday, just so you know. Don't forget about that Coyote Skull. 750 subscribers. She's going to somebody.